Hey my lovelies, Serene Dream here with another filmy and general energy reading. And if you're new to my channel, this reading could apply at any time. It doesn't fit for any specific time frame. So it could be whenever you find it for, it could resonate for you uh, for the week, this week that you're finding this reading, the month, uh, or even the year. So take it however fits your situation. Because it is a general reading, it will not resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates to leave what does not. Reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. If you would like to go ahead and check out any of your monthly Zodiac readings or year ahead forecast for uh, 2022, you can click on the Vimeo links in the description box to uh, view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to that information is also in the description box to my website. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any updates. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started for the, uh, the messages that need to be heard at this time. I'm getting the sense that you're, it's like you're being tested or you're testing something. For most of you, I feel like you're being tested before you're able to move to the next phase or the next step with something. It's like you have to, you have to pass this test and I feel like you not only have to pass it, but you have to because uh, what I'm getting is like a breathalyzer and you have to uh, basically be below a point in order for them to, you know, declare you sober and you be let go. So what I'm getting from that is like you have to not only pass the test, but you have to meet a specific mark. Like you have to make a specific mark or a specific, you have to meet a specific score in order for you to pass to the next level. I feel like you, who this mess, who this message resonates for you're you're trying really hard um to make sure that you do pass this test. So, I feel like you have uh like you you're getting you're getting yourself right for it. However that fits for your situation. For some of you you have to get physically um, in shape to in order to move to the next level whatever this is for others it's like you have to get spiritually right so you know you may be doing things like fasting and um, things of that nature to like get you closer closer to God in order to move to the next level this could even be like a, a brain power I'm hearing brain power energy so maybe you have to uh, re-up on some knowledge uh, in order to uh, pass a certain test. It could be literally like you have to pass a test and you have to uh, make a certain score or percentage in order to graduate or move to the next phase of something. So it's going to be different for a lot of you, but I just get that whoever this resonates for is some form of a test, whether it be a spiritual test, I'm hearing a physical aptitude test or like a mental aptitude test. And I feel like whoever this is, it's like they're getting, they're heavily preparing for it because they want to do this right. They want to pass it on the first try. They don't want to be held back. They don't want to have to go through this test again. I feel like they're very tired of being in this place. I'm getting like this person is tired of being held back. So this person could have already gone through this test before and they failed, you know, whether it be a literal test or a spiritual test. But I feel like someone has gone through this process before and they failed. And uh, this time it's like, I don't, they, it's like they're telling themselves, I don't want to fail this time. So I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure I prepare just right in order to beat that score and move on to the next level finally. This person is tired of living, a, for some of you uh, who this message resonates with, you're tired of living a double life or someone is tired of living a double life. It's like, I'm hearing duplicitous. So someone has been very duplicitous. They haven't really been genuine and um, real about, you know, who they are or their intentions or how they're feeling, I'm hearing. And this person, they just want to take the mask off. They don't want to be du duplicitous. They want to be like upfront. They want to be a real person. They want to be honest, forthcoming about everything. I feel like this person has been very torn about their identity for some time now. 
And because they weren't comfortable in themselves, they weren't comfortable or very confident in who they are. But I feel like this person wants to come out of that. They want to be comfortable in their skin. They want to love themselves. They want to do the right thing. They want to show up in the world as a real person and displaying their real feelings and sharing their real thoughts. They're, they're tired of hiding and pretending and wearing one face to the world and a different when they're alone. Yeah, this person wants to come out of that energy because I feel like it's been very exhausting for them, especially recently. If they've been doing this for a while, I feel like only recently it's become very exhausting and taxing on them emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, and in some cases, physically. Even if it's like an actual physical test that someone needs to take, they they don't want to have to go through this process again because the pr the preparation for the test itself was rigorous. Whether it be like they have to be up studying all night or they have to work out extra hard and build up, you know, their core and and certain muscles and strength, and they're just like, oh my gosh, I just want to get reach this point so I can pass this test and just get to that next level so I don't have to do this training anymore I don't have to do this studying anymore you know so that how that's how it could apply for those of you who are dealing with something more physical and tangible or rather instead of like something spiritual whoever this applies for I feel like it has uh However it applies to you, I feel like it's been very emotionally draining on you to be going through this process. And I'm hearing for so long. Like you're wanting to come, I'm hearing you're wanting to come out of the wilderness. So some of you have been feeling very lost um, for a long time. And it seems as if, it felt as if you weren't ever going to find your way and then you finally found a light to follow. But then at some point when you were walking toward that light, you got stopped and that's where the test came into play. And you were told, instructed that you needed to pass this test and you needed to you know, make a certain mark in order to go the rest of the way and actually reach that light. So you're just like, oh my gosh. you know. Some of you, like I say, you've been on this path before, like you thought you were moving ahead and then you got stopped and you failed the test and you had to turn back around and be lost in the wilderness again for a while. And now you're back at the point where you found the light, but you're being tested again. But this time you're determined to pass and get, it's like this, it's like you always get to a certain point and it gets really hard and confusing and you just give up. That's what I'm getting. Whether it be, you know, there's a physical, tangible test or a spiritual test, I feel like it both could apply. Like if you're taking an actual test, I feel like at some point, like when you first started the test, when, if you've taken it in the past, you, you're doing really fine. I'm hearing that some of you have taken a practice test many times before this test and you didn't do very well on the practice test, but you're determined to, uh, it's like now, I feel like you finally maybe made a decent mark on one of the practice tests and that's why you are you feel like you're ready to take the actual test. So uh, yeah, whatever the case, it's like at some point when you start the test, you feel like, you know, you're flowing and you got it and you're gonna ace this thing, but then like somewhere toward the middle of the test, it gets really hard and confusing and you find that you keep getting stuck on that part and I feel like it's going it's it's taken a lot more willpower uh, and in some cases a lot more brain power than you expected to get over this hurdle you know this is a spiritual test it's like you kept underestimating how hard this test was you kept feeling like because you know everything seems so in the beginning of the journey where you're moving toward the light it's like you're excited you see the light and you're going and you're going and nothing's in your way and you feel like it's going to be that way the rest of the way but then the test come you're like you know what i could pass this and you feel like you can just beat it without studying without preparation you could just go straight into it and just ace it but then you kept failing and you didn't know exactly like what part of the test tripped you up you just know that you you did get tripped up and you always fail so now it's like you're approaching it a lot smarter and a lot less um with a lot less ego than you did before
I'm hearing eating you up inside. So some of you have been dealing with some, I'm hearing some sort of anguish where uh, I'm hearing mental anguish. Someone has been dealing with some mental anguish and it's really been eating them up inside, like eating them alive. It's like they, it's like they're being urged to do something, to make a move, to say something. And this person is like, using all their might to hold back and not obey that voice basically that's pushing them toward a certain action or to say something and the more they ignore this voice the more it's eating them up inside because this is god's voice pushing this person in this direction but they keep ignoring it so that's why it's become a lot more painful um there may be other things that they've ignored or they felt they were stronger than. In this instance, this person, it's like they're having to face that they're not as strong as they thought they were. They're having to uh, really accept that they are just a mere human being and they're not as powerful as they thought they were. Like they still have to answer to a higher being. This person may have even had a God complex where they felt that they were uh, some form of a god and th whatever they put their mind to they can just do it without breaking a sweat but it's like this situation is teaching this person just how flawed they are and how much of a normal human being they actually are you know when it comes to their abilities and what they're capable of doing this person overestimated themselves and now it's like they're tired because they've been fighting and trying to, you know, keep that place of like, I am a God, I am a God, I can do anything, I'm more powerful than this, I can overcome this thought, I can overcome this feeling. And now it's like they're, they, they're breaking down. I feel like God has been breaking this person down and making them listen. And now it's like they, it's like they've finally taken a seat and they've given their ear over to God to, you know, listen to what it is they have to do. It's like, yeah, that's exactly it. They finally taken a seat and opened their ears to listen. And I feel like they've been ignoring it for a while. It may not have been something that's been nagging them for too, too long, but I feel like maybe at least the past few weeks or maybe the past few months, um, this person has been getting this urge to say something to do something or to uh behave in a certain way even even if it's the case of like a test like maybe god has been trying to push this person to maybe take a practice test one more time or to study a specific area a little bit more a, little, a specific part of the test a little bit more to go over it and i feel like this person was just so arrogant they felt like i don't need that i don't need that and they kept ignoring that voice but I feel like now they're finally sitting their tails down and hearing what God has to say. Like they're prepared to go forth and do whatever God tells them to do in order to pass this test. Whether it be, like I said, a tangible test or a, a spiritual test, it's the same thing. I feel like the same story applies. What this person is gonna be shocked about is how much they ace this. Like now that they've sat down and they're taking heed to the instruction that's being given to them from the divine. When they actually go and take that test, they're gonna realize like how much, of, how much of a breeze it is this time as compared to any other time they attempted this test. And um, the difference between their past attempts and this attempt is that they actually listened to God this time. Whatever God was urging them to do or say, or you know whatever to study or to move in a certain direction it's like they finally sat down and they paid attention to the instruction and follow that instruction to down to the letter i'm getting and um this way when they ace it they can't give the glory to themselves this is the first time they're really going to say it, it was not me it was god god walked me through the whole process you know held my hand through it gave me all the answers you know, uh, directed my every move. And um, that's why I'm here. That's why I finally got over that hurdle. That's why I finally passed this test. And I'm so grateful. So I feel like this whole experience is teaching this person to have more uh, 
gratitude for God's favor. Because I do feel like this person is highly favored, but I feel like they weren't necessarily uh, attributing their favor, favor previously to God. I feel like they were attributing it to themselves, feeling like they are they are the God and they are the person. They're the reason they are. Uh, they're the place that they're in or they have what they have or they are the way they are. They didn't attribute any of that to God, the divine being, the highest power. This person through this test, through this experience, and now finally sitting down and heeding the instruction, this person is finally learning to place that glory where it truly belongs. And that's not with themselves, but with the almighty. So yeah, it's going to change this person inside and out for the better. Because it's like now, instead of just listening to their voice, now they're able to walk and follow God's voice. Now they know how to do it. This one little instance where God guided them through the successful passing of this test is going to give this person the tools they need to always follow God's voice. So from now on, they're not going to be as stubborn. They're not going to have that arrogance or that ego problem that they had previously and feel like it's all up to them and you know they are their own god they are they are they are they are the most powerful and all of this stuff you know that they had going on or all the thoughts they were believing previously and I'm hearing God's going to smile. So I do feel like going forward like the way this person handles this finally it's going to leave God in a place of just smiling at them and seeing them move along the way. Because now it's like they're going to learn how to check in with God constantly for everything they do. And as they continue to do that, they receive more and more blessings, more and more favor. And again, this person is never going to backslide and go back and have that arrogance or attribute things to themselves anymore. It's like they've become they're becoming more humbled. And it's like through that humbleness, they're actually gaining more power than ever, you know, but just understanding that that power is not, they are not the source of it, you know? So that's the difference between their past selves and who this person is now becoming. So there's a huge transformation, a huge shift going on with someone at this time. And um, they're gonna come out on the other side of it like, like a brand new shiny penny just amazing and um with god's light just all over them just shimmering and shining all over them so much so that i feel like everyone is going to be able to see it they cannot deny it like even if this person never opens their mouth and says anything about anything they've been through people are going to see that light and that favor on them and comment about it like how much they changed how much they become more humble in some cases like this light on them has made them i don't feel like in some cases i feel like it's all actually this person is going to even become more attractive because of that light that's now on them and the spirit that they now hold inside of them okay so yeah that's what i got for you all for this general energy reading i hope this reading was helpful to you Again, if you like to check out your monthly Zodiac readings or your year ahead forecast for 2022, you can go ahead and click on the links to my, to my Vimeo channel to view those. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website can be found in the description box as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any updates. And I will be back for my readings, lovelies. Bye!